Hello, my name is uh, Tony Sant, and uh, I'm presenting this uh, on behalf of Wikimedia Community Malta, uh, which I've prepared uh, with my Wikimedian colleague, Enrique Tabone. Uh, we are glad to be here at uh, Celtic Knot Conference uh, 2022 with news from Malta uh, for this year. And, and it, it, it would be good to start with a very, very brief introduction about the Wikimedia Community Malta, which is based in Valletta. We operate uh, in two languages primarily. Um, both of these are official languages in Malta. Maltese, which is the national language and which we focus on primarily, as well as um, the English, uh, which is an official language in Malta. Our user group has one part-time employee who works one day a week, uh, mostly on administrative matters, but also in helping to um, keep our uh, program of activities um, organized appropriately. We are a registered NGO, which in Malta is known as a VO, a voluntary organization, uh, since uh, 2016, which is also when we became a Wikimedia Foundation affiliated um, user group. So, interestingly, uh, Maltese is not a very well-known language. It is a minor language, even though it is uh, one of the official languages of the European Union. Uh, it's hard to find even on the list of uh, languages on Wikipedia. And once you uh, scroll down through the languages, eventually you find it there. Uh, this is because of Maltese language Wikipedia, which we call Wikipedia, has fewer than 10,000 articles. Having said that, though, uh, we are making progress. Uh, it is during the period since the last language conference that we have exceeded uh, 4,500 articles. And uh, this is a, a new pace that we've gathered through the organization of the user group of Wikimedia Community Malta over the past seven years or so. We have had, uh, as I said, you know, uh, some, some progress over the years, and this continues into this year. The number of active editors, uh, the average of that has gone up uh, considerably over um, the past seven years or so since we've been active. But e interestingly, over the last couple of years, we see how our activities uh, improve the number of edits as well as new pages. We see uh, spikes in particular and relating to uh, our our language efforts from uh, CEE Spring. Uh, and uh, we, perhaps it's best if I quickly tell you where we've come from. These are roughly uh, the activities we've held on a yearly basis until uh, 2020, 2021. Um, uh, but now we're, we're moving ahead. And in our current program, this is a revised version, if you will, of our annual activities focusing primarily on wiki loves monuments but also looking at wiki loves folklore uh, with some focal points on feminism and folklore or and as well as art and feminism which we call folklore and feminism uh, really is our own is our own blend of these two activities and then as i said not only uh, cee spring with the uh, central and eastern european uh, colleagues but also moving into uh, wiki loves earth which we've introduced in the current round for the first time the numbers in the past year or so have not been very encouraging. In fact, we've seen a slight downturn in the number of editors uh, participating in CE Spring uh, in the current cycle. Uh, this is a trend that um, is, is common, I would say, across a number of other languages as well as countries. I mean, primarily, uh, of course, we see this also in Wiki Loves Monuments, where although historically we've had a quite a, a successful uh, engagement with Wiki Loves Monuments, we've seen a little bit of a downturn. A part of this, of course, is because of the, the, the COVID restrictions and so on and so forth. But uh, we th still think that overall we're still making progress, so much so that in 2020, uh, we had a top 20 uh, photo in the international contest, which is this one that you see here, a, a very, very a wonderful image, as well as in, in the current round for Wiki Loves Monuments in 2021. Uh, this uh, placed uh, 14th in the international contest. So, you know, in that way, visibility for Malta and the Maltese language are also happening in this way.
Uh, primarily, the other thing I would say is this, this you know, uh, feminism and folklore and art and feminism or folklore and feminism, as we like to call it, is also uh, showing uh, great improvements with, through our engagement with uh, Wiki Loves Folklore. Uh, you'll see, of course, that it's not just the number of articles being created and the number of articles edited, but also the number of editors that is growing here uh, quite substantially. When you <laughs> take a look at some of the images that have been submitted for uh, Wiki Loves Folklore this year, uh, you can see how colorful and vibrant all this is. So anyhow, uh, that's the latest from us in Malta. And uh, as we say, grazie.